After the family heard the loud crash, they went outside and couldn't believe what they were looking at. And once the online cooking session is done, there is a tasty meal at the end of it. But it's not just about the food, it's also about the kids enjoying the journey. Kristowski hopes to bring an equal opportunity to as many families in Cleveland as possible. It's something he says hits a little close to home given his personal upbringing. So today we gave Herschel the opportunity to share his thoughts directly to you. Thank you for being with us today. So I just want to ask you a few questions. First, do you see yourself as a good boy? Uh huh. Thank you, Nikki. There's still a lot that we do not know, but the one thing, let's reiterate, that is that is what we know. A body was found in this body of water, Lake Erie, earlier today. Let's take a closer look. This is the scene right now at that Coast Guard station. Just a few minutes ago, we saw an SUV with some decals drive towards that spot. It could be the medical examiner. It's very tough to tell from here. We're kind of far away, but this is an investigation that is still ongoing. We were able to confirm through the Coast Guard that Cleveland police were the ones that were called out to this scene at around 2 30 p.m. today and were able to recover bodily remains so I reached out to Cleveland police that's what they told me they were able to confirm that these were bodily remains that have yet to be identified right now they're not sure if this is related to any ongoing investigations that they have or this could be connected to anything that they're looking into but right now that is what we know it may take some time to fully understand if these body bodily remains can be identified in any way but this is all that there is right now. Cleveland fire is also there. There was an, a fire emergency vehicle that is also at that scene. But right now, all we know is that there's these bodily remains and Cleveland police is sealing off the driveway that leads into that pier, that Coast Guard building. That's all we know right now. But a body was found. We will continue to provide you with information as soon as it becomes available. In the Cuyahoga Valley neighborhood in Wendy Park, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. Thank you. Now, we've been playing a little game outside here today overlooking downtown Cleveland called Can You Tell Where Lake Erie Is? That fog, that mogginess, that's kind of accumulated over time and it's getting really harder to tell where Lake Erie is and that's the same kind of air conditions that outside workers today have had to deal with. Now, I spoke to a few of them today. Some of them tell me, well, they're just going to have to adjust to these conditions for the time being. Others say that like a welder that I spoke to well i've already deal with these conditions and these sort of health conditions already so i have a mask i'm ready to go but others that i've spoken to say they've already been coughing they've already had these sort of breathing situations that are things to keep in mind if you are experiencing those maybe best to stay inside for a little bit but also to keep in mind if you have asthma such as this worker that i spoke to today who was walking downtown she's not sure for how long she's going to have to keep her mask on Air quality doesn't feel that great. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but it, air just feels a bit different, like there's something else kind of. For how long do you think you'll have to keep wearing that mask for? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up on the situation in Canada, so I don't know how the firefighting is going. Yeah. Well, what's happening in Canada is on everyone's mind, but right here in Cleveland, the best way to keep up to date is to follow the most accurate weather team who will be giving you the latest details down to the minute as to these weather conditions and when things may start to get a little better to be outside for a little longer. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. That's right. Good evening. It is absolutely heartbreaking. We actually have the pamphlet that was handed out to visitors that made their way to their church today. And check this out. These are all pictures of life, memories, moments that the family wanted to remember. And that's what they wanted to highlight with this ceremony, that these are people that meant so much to a community and to a family that is still reeling from something so inexplicably heartbreaking. Four hearses, a somber reminder of four lives lost, an entire neighborhood heartbroken. I haven't rested just thinking about all these, these events. Anthony Booth, Miguel Gonzalez, Jaden Baez, and Angelique Gonzalez. 
all murdered inside a Brooklyn Center neighborhood home. According to police, a family member pulled the trigger. Father Mark Riley of St. Michael so Archangel really admits a ceremony messy. like this is unprecedented. Now this is the first time I've ever experienced anything like this. Well, what do you say? You know, how do you be with the family? You know, presence was important. It was sorrow. Jahad Shakur was one of the many neighbors who came out to support the family, hoping to pass along the family's message of unity. To have a better Cleveland and a better uh, understanding of life in general. Father Riley hopes that support can continue not only today, but beyond. It would be good to follow up just with phone calls, visits, to say, you know, how are you doing? Is there anything that we can do? Angelique's story was especially moving. She uprooted her roots in Chicago to return to Cleveland and care for her father, Miguel. That was heroic and very loving of her, and uh, that will stay with me for a long time. Gonzalez and Booth's eight-year-old daughter was also shot. She survived, but is still in the hospital. As she deals with the trauma of what happened that fateful night, the community hopes she knows how her loved one's memories will always live on. Make sure that uh, Iana, the little eight-year-old girl, knows, you know, the story of her parents and her brother and the good things that they did. One small gesture I'd like to tell you about. There were so many people in different vehicles that made it to the church this morning that different churches and even businesses made their parking lots available. It's a small sign to show that the Cleveland neighborhood has definitely been impacted, but they're still standing strong. Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. How chaotic the situation was down here. The FBI looking for bodies two blocks from here. Titled It's Up to Us, it's a mural on Clark Avenue that represents a community and a time. Artist John Rivera Resto walks us through what it was like painting it back in 2013 at around the same time Gina de Jesus, Amanda Berry, and Michelle Knight were found in a Seymour Avenue home. The whole community around them is living in fear, so this affects everyone. The mural was made between 2012 and 2014 with the help of several volunteers, many of them teenagers who were shocked to find out what was happening just blocks from where they were painting. That guy could have been looking at us while we were doing it. He's only two blocks away. The mural also had its share of controversy, including images like this one of a young woman with a black eye waiting at a bus stop. A lot of people loved it, uh, a lot of people hated it, we even got death threats about it. And every time they saw this image, that's the first thing that came to their mind. Oh my God, yeah, this is where all this thing happened. Now, 10 years later, Rivera Resto has witnessed exactly what his wall predicted, a growing community working together. People are taking pride in this particular spot and we're right at the center of it. What they couldn't understand before, they, they can see it clearly now and, 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 and their children after, so that's what good art does. And while he's glad that the mural has remained after all these years, he hopes the emotions that were experienced while it was being painted never come forward again. I hope that no more tragedies like this are repeated. In Cleveland's Tremont neighborhood, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.